it's Desiree. I am here with Rubber Stamp Tapestry having fun with some peg stamps. These are called Blackberry Bramble. And I dug into my stash and I found a sentiment that I've had for a while. It's by Memory Box. And it, it's a happy anniversary sentiment. And what's really cool is it's it does a dual cut. So you have this bottom portion of it and then the top cuts out the sentiment. So yeah, not explaining that correctly. So you'll see, it looks awesome. So I took that die onto a piece of white cardstock and I drew the line just so I knew where I needed to stamp. I dug into my Gina K inks and I'm using Plum Punch Passionate Pink in the Navy jelly bean green and fresh asparagus these this peg stamp set has florals and it has blackberries which i thought was really cool so i'm just using the different colors i'm making sure that i'm turning my peg stamp remember there's a register line on your peg stamps and having that line facing towards you will tell you and show you how that stamp will stamp on your cardstock. I like to just keep turning it to give different angles on these uh, images and just having fun creating the backgrounds. Uh, so basically with these, you're able to create your own pattern paper, which I think is great. But there are so many other things that you can use your peg stamps for as well. I'm just filling in this bottom uh, using a darker green, using a lighter green, and these are definitely my two greens. I have, when it comes to greens, I just have certain greens <laughs> that I go to, whether it's my Gina K inks or another ink. It's just, you know, something we gravitate to these colors. But just having these two different shades of green will add a bit of texture. And I even did that when it came to the blackberries. I used the navy blue and I used the plum punch for the blackberries to just give that difference. Now, I've already die cut this image, this sentiment, four other times using my scrap card stock, which I thought was awesome. And that's going to allow me to create this dimensional panel um, on, on my card front. I did choose a dark purple um, base, which you'll see why, because this is how it cuts. So you've got your happy, as a normal sentiment that what we see, but the anniversary is cut out. So that's actually, you know, cut down in there. So when I place this panel on top, I will have to trim it um, because I wanted, I die cut on pieces that were just a little bit bigger just to make sure I could line all of this up because I wasn't quite sure how everything was going to set. I'm coming in with my white eraser to just erase the pencil lines that are showing. And then I am just trimming along the bottom and the one side. I am using my heavy shears for that because it's going through four pieces of heavy cardstock. And it went through no problem. I'm going to take this panel, apply my liquid glue. Today I'm using my art glitter glue. And I'm going to place this down onto my purple panel which is cut four and a quarter by five and a half. And this will be placed on a standard A2 size card base, the same size. I'm making sure I took that purple panel and put it on top of my card base because I wanted an even border around this panel. And you can see the purple, I chose that dark color because now you can really see the anniversary and the bottom part of the P's and the Y. I'm going to add some gold gems by Pretty Pink Posh. These are the metallic gold. And I'm just going to place those in the center of the completed round flower that's down into that panel and then a few up above it. I like to take my finger across it to make sure I didn't miss any. <laughs> and that is our card. Quick, but has a huge impact. And that is what's great with these peg stamps. So I do hope you enjoyed today's project. As always, the products that I used will be listed down below and I will list out the colors that I used for my inks. 
If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you here and hit that thumbs up. That lets me know that you enjoyed this video and it helps YouTube to push that video out too because maybe somebody else would enjoy it as well. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to watch my video. Again, I hope I gave you a few tips and tricks and definitely take these techniques and use it in what you have. Enjoy your creative time. Enjoy creating your art. And that is what it is. But always remember what's most important. Always be creative, guys. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Till then.